So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. And tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. John Jones, ready to battle and take home that elusive UFC goal. UFC middleweight champion Anderson the Spider Silva is set to make the walk here tonight. This is a man still getting it done in his mid-40s, DC. Proved in the Israel Adesanya fight that he could still hang in there over a hard 15 minutes with the best guys in the Anderson world. Silva is still able to compete even though he's up there in age a little bit. And that's because of his commitment to the sport of mixed martial arts. He loves competing. He loves the spotlight. Everything that you need to drive you to be able to stay active and stay relevant in this sport, Anderson Silva possesses. Every time he steps foot in the octagon, we get a chance to witness one of the greatest fighters of all time. And when DC needed an opponent for UFC 200 on about 24 hours notice, the greatest of all time was your huckleberry, not too bad. Anderson the Spider Silva, set to fight John Bones Jones. Tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, John Bones Jones! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Anderson, the Spider Silva! Herb Dean, our referee Ready. for this one. Ready. Let's do it. So here we go at the start of round one. Anderson Silva didn't even go to a decision from 2004 to 2009. He has been a fast starter. Most of his UFC fights ending in round one or round two. We'll see how he approaches the early going here. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones' calling card. Devastated body kick land. All right, so no single, no problem. Beautiful takedown there, and the kickboxer better get upright, or this could be the beginning of the end. He's got to hustle, but the problem is that his fighting style leads to takedowns. Every time he throws the body kick, the wrestler is looking to grab it, level change into him, and take him to the mat. This time, he timed that takedown beautifully, and now he's fighting where he's comfortable.
Jones is in half guard, making all these shots count. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Jones. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Oh, great reversal to top position by Silva. And he will let his opponent stand up here. Right hook to the head block. Back to the jab now, no good. Big elbow there, Chris. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Jones. Another strike to the head lane. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Nice ball. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Misses with the left hook. Oh, high kick. Oh, high level stuff as he counters with that right hand. Nice oh. landing back there. Nice land there by Anderson Silva. Just a true mixed martial artist. Has so much honor and respect for the game. And somewhat remarkable. Still getting it done when matched up with the best middleweights in the world. Fighters exchange in the pocket here. All right, so John Jones having his way with an opponent as we have come to expect in the octagon. He's got the long range weapon we going tonight. I mean, it's the striking of Jones, his ability to set traps, his ability to make you fight his fight at his range. When you can't close the distance on Jones, you will have problems. That's exactly what's happening with his opponent tonight. He has not been able to get close enough to find success. to the left hand now, unable to connect. Nice shot there by the champ. Lands a nice leg kick. Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Under a minute to go. Silva gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. So the unofficial numbers thus far, 53 total strikes have landed for John Jones. Pretty good straight punch there by Jones. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Jones getting tattooed by that stiff jab. Final seconds. Silva gets caught by another jab. I'm not sure if he's lost a step, but he's just unable to sniff out that weapon thus far tonight. Round two next. All right. It's Vira. It's Vira. Você tem que ir calmo, tá? You gotta slow it down. You gotta be calm, okay? All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Oh, we'll see how it goes here in round two. Anderson Silva Ready. and John Jones. Yeah. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't head hunt, don't head hunt. I'm yelling headhunt if I was quarter because every time he's thrown, he's landing. 
cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. All right, so he continues to learn the high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. So some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start at him. Man. Could be the beginning of the end here. Oh, nice kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Jones' nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Oh, hook to the head by Jones. Just over three minutes to go now. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and... Neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Jones is in half guard. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change on, the way that this fight is playing out. All right, hammer fist here by Silva. And there you go, again, half guard. Strong reversal there. Drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round and pop. Well, Silva's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. The ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Jones. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Oh, nice transition there. You call that a reversal? Yeah, you turn your defense into offense. Defensively, you switch position and you go right on the offensive. That's exactly what he did. Big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how, how skilled both of these men are. All right, so he lands again just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game team. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the... And what a nasty flying knee. Huge kick right there. Don't want to take too many more of those. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood start to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching forward, whether or not he's confused about where it's at. You got to start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? 
His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Checked effectively there by Johnny Bone. Beautiful kick lands there. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Silva. 131 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. While dipping just below 50% in terms of the connection rate, landing with 49% accuracy tonight thus far against Anderson Silva. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Jones is really taking aim at that cut right now, and hard to blame him, right? They might even call in the ringside position. He is continuing to target that area. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Silva. Over and over, this guy's getting hit right in his face. All right, so now we start to see some bruising here on the torso, and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and it's working. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Well, Silva's eye was starting to swell now. Checks that leg kick. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Silva's been dealing with the oh, big knee. He's in a lot of trouble. Spinning cactus. Throws a big right hand. Big right hand. Front kick by Jones. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Well, Silva's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Oh! Ooh. Nice leg kick. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Good defense blocking that punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Swing and a miss by Johnny Bone. Silva's really bleeding heavily now. You got to think they might bring in the ringside position to take a look at that cut between rounds. Oh! Oh, he's stuck bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. And fourth we go, it takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals tangoed tonight. I might 
run it back at some point, no matter how this one ends. It's one of those fights where when you look at these two and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt. They're both beat up. And both these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? Ready. Go ahead. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You've got to get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your full desire to win a fight. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. All right, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling. Oh, oh this could just about do it. Nice leg kick. Jones gets the takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. Great job landing the strike from his back. Silva's in half guard now. He's going after that cut over and over again, and every time he lands, the cut gets worse. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. All right, continuing to target that swelled area, and it is not looking good now. Under three minutes to go in round four. Oh, nice elbow. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, heavy shots continue to rain down. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. All right, side control now. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Nice positional control here. That was a slick transition. He's got to find a way back to his feet. Silva's trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke back there. He's going to take off on here. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. In the half guard. Jones is back in full mount. Oh, shades of the godfather with a ground and pound. Mark Coleman as he lands again. Coley somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. 
Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. All right, so as a result of one of those leg kicks, he is now limping. He hasn't been rendered a one-legged fighter, but his mobility has absolutely been compromised. Well, you can check it right now. It's easy to see. You can see that this guy has struggled. You can see that he's very, very hurt from these leg kicks. Even checking the kicks now will not help because the damage has been done. 30 seconds to go. Well, Silva's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled, it is cut open. I think it's probably broken at this point in time. Surgery next week, but now we'll see if mentally, physically, he can stay in this fight. 10 seconds now to go in the round. of round four. All right, well, if you like blood, and I do, this is the fight for you. Somehow we've made it to the stools, and both fighters are wearing it. Yeah, I mean, the corner's gonna have some work to do on that cut. He has been beat up in that round, but he has done his fair share of damage himself. This has been a very close fight. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot, because the reality is, when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth. But the blood is dripping right, down into your Sit mouth. Down. How Sit is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? All right, listen. We're down on the cards. I want you to go out there, put your combinations together. Ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Jones's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Well, no denying that he walked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Just misses with the jab there. Silva's bruised on the right calf right now. Clearly, those low kicks, Daniel, are having an effect. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Look at the control of the posture as that big he lands. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent earlier in the round, and I'm not sure he's mentally back in this fight. Well, it's hard to build back from something like that. But as you watch, he's trying, but we don't know what type of dialogue is going on within, his, within himself right now in regards to him believing or not having much confidence in his approach to this fight. Oh, he's, he's spraying blood now. Holy smokes. Oh. Oh, misses with the jab. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Jones's nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, DC. Oh, and there's that double leg takedown. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping him in full guard. He is in a lot of danger now. His opponent has beaten him. He's battered him, and now he is wearing it. There's a ton of blood on his face. He's got to be careful here. Working out of the half guard here. Back to the feet now. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Silva's landed another strike there, right? Oh! Oh, 
Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Jones is in half guard. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. This is where he wants to be. Fight back! All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Mm, nice. Oh, how about that transition in top position? Beautiful work by Silva. Bro, that cut is so bad. Like, can't the referee stop the fight right now? Somebody be stopping him, because he won't. Yeah. That's the thing. That's the beauty in the fighter. He will not quit. Sometimes. You gotta go in there and tell him, hey man, there's tomorrow. Yeah. Doesn't have to happen today. Jones has got him in a crucifix now, gonna go to work from the top. Well, he grounded him and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Oh, right to the mouth. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Jones. This is a terrible position. Ground and pound strike there now. He's very accurate in the ground and pound and is showing because he's landing so consistently. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. He's having his way with him here. Jones is able to flatten him out, really pressing on him now. Opponent's belly flat on the mat. Oh, right in the mouth. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Jones is all out action right through the final minute. Nobody in this arena is sitting down. What a fight. All right, Ladies the official decision is now in. Here rounds, is Bruce Buffett. go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 48-47, 49-46, and 48-47. Played the winner by unanimous decision and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones! All right, so you heard it there from Bruce. Congratulations to John Jones, your winner tonight by decision. Had to dig deep at times against a credentialed opponent, but uh Result usually the same, a W for Johnny Bones Jones. Championship medal is what this guy has built his entire career on. His ability to withstand the pressure of the big moment. Once again, in the big moment, he thrives and wins another massive decision over another very tough opponent. Yeah, a lot of people didn't like this matchup for him, and uh, those people are ripping up their betting tickets as we speak. Congratulations to John Jones.